so hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and in this video i'm going to tell you about the next step of the arcade facilitator program for the facilitators yes you heard it right the arcade facilitator confirmation emails for the facilitator who will be becoming facilitator in this cohort basically on cohort 2 emails are out for the shortlisting so let's move to the next step so first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now i'll tell you how you have to fill the form what are the things you need to take care before filling the form and how you have to submit the form so let's cover it together now as you all are aware i have made the video series about the arcade and arcade facilitator program and all series how to make profile public all things are available here you can watch it if you have any queries and now recently today only we have received this kind of email that build a team and lead the arcade facilitator program so if you have filled the previous form basically this form which i have shared in this video i think currently the form is closed so if you have filled this form then you must have received this email in case you haven't received this email then you need to wait for some time okay you need to wait for some time when this email will be out or chances are there if you haven't received this email by today or tomorrow you won't be able to become a facilitator so you can try your luck in next cohort so here you have you can see this email so here thank you for showing so much interest on the cohort 2 you have been shortlisted basically it is a shortlisting form this does not mean you have a become facilitator you have to do some requirements some formalities then you will be selected and if you have received this email then 99.9% .9 you will be selected as a facilitator so here are some important things to take care of basically you have to form a team of two what does it mean basically you will become the facilitator via this form but you can nominate one person of your choice basically one person is nominated by the google itself like you fill the form and you are selected the second person which will be selected by you like you can select anyone your parents sisters brothers or any siblings or friends anyone who is interested in cloud there is an age limit so basically they may ask your government id let's explore it whether they have asked or not so here they will ask government id and this is only for the indian participants for your countries you can contact your leads so basically for india here minimum age is 18 plus basically you must be 18 years of age while applying as a facilitator so let's move to here so here some of the requirements that first thing you need to form a team and you need to onboard 100 users so 100 users will be compiled with you and your co-facilitator we will be having two facilitator so you have to onboard minimum 100 users onboarding means you have to share one wait a minute on 4th of august the arcade facilitator program for the participants will be live so here a registration form will be open and you will have to share the form with your community members and just they will enter your referral code the referral code will be sent to you and all details i will update when it will be out so basically they will enter your referral code and just submit the form then they will be enrolled under you now there should be active participants like many people enroll 100 or uh, 500 people but they don't interact and complete the program so make sure to share the form only with people who are interested in cloud not randomly just sharing the form so once you onboard 100 users and they complete some milestone you will be rewarded some never been seen goodies okay so here you can see what you will get a certification of appreciation from google to each facilitator and each facilitator will get the swags so basically you and your co-facilitator will be getting different sorts so you don't have to share with each other now here what are the benefits of becoming a facilitator i have already said you will be getting early invitations of any program whether it's online program or offline program apart from this you can just share you have been selected as a facilitator you know resume also because you'll be getting an official certificate from google end now here you have to nominate their theme basically you have to nominate your team here you need to make sure to enter these things you have to just check these slides and just i won't share this slide publicly because it is a private entity and we cannot we are not allowed to share this now you i can only share this program website okay it is public for whatever it is public domain i can share it now here what you need to do 
if you want to share the information of anyone who want to become a co-facilitator with you, what you need to do, you must have received this email from the program manager that you can just check it. Okay, you have been shortlisted as participant or facilitator cohort too. You can just check this email. You have to enter the name of that person, email ID of that person, mobile number of that person, role. Whether it is working or student or you can just type NA also, no need to worry about it. You can just type student or working professional, there is no issue. And then you have to type the institution or organization name, like in which company you work or just mention your college university if you are a student, a school name. Okay. Now both of you have to fill this form. Okay. You and your co-facilitator have to fill this form by 28th of July, 11.59 p.m. After which the form will be closed and you won't be able to become the facilitator. So once the my video is over, Try to fill the form and just make your compliment co-facilitator. So here basically is the form. Now you have to just fill the form in which you have received this email. Okay, even if you try to just play with the system like enter any other email and try to become a facilitator, it won't be selected because they have backend team to verify the details. So you have to just click on this nomination form. And here basically is the form. So here, if you want to read, you can read it. Now here you have to enter the email address. Okay. Here you have to enter the email address in which you have received the form. Now here again, confirm the email address. Now click on yes and agree in terms and conditions. Now click on next. Now here you have to enter your full name. So basically the full name and it should be correct. Not like any tomato or pomato name. You have to use your official legal name which will be present on your government ID, Aadhaar or voter ID. You have to enter that name only. Okay. So just enter your correct name. And then select your gender. And here you have to share your current age at the time of filling your form. Whether you are 24, 25, 26, 27 or 18. And then you have to select your hoodie size. No need to worry when the price counter will open. You have to select it again. So just select it carefully. Now current institution. You can write your college name, company name. And here just type whether you are working professional or student. Now here you have to just and mention your country so basically you have to write india only because you can see here even if you are from different country and want to become a facilitator goodies won't be shipped on there and chances are there your registration will also be void so better use the india now here you have to select the linkedin url okay now linkedin url you have to select and another thing is that if you have a YouTube channel, you can just enter the YouTube channel. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, just type NA. You can just use N slash A. Now Google Cloud Community Profile. How you have to check? Let me show you how you have to check. Just type learning. So in this video, I think how to fill the form. I have already made a video how you can create a learning, basically the cloud community account you can just watch it and here how you can do here simply you can just use the sign up option okay you can just use the sign up option and just sign up using the google or enter the email i already have account so i'm just signing in So you have to do these things. Okay. Got it. Now here you have to. I think the UI have been changed. So here you have to just click on your profile. Okay. So here I have to click on profile. my developer profile okay you have to just click on here so they have changed the ui let me first of all see i think they have mentioned over here
सो यू कैन सी ऑन द टॉप यू पे जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस यू आर एल ओके सो हियर यस यू हैड इट राइट दिस इज योर यूजर प्रोफाइल ओके यू हैव टू जस्ट कॉपी इट कम बैक हियर एंड जस्ट पेस्ट ओवर हियर ओके जस्ट पेस्ट ओवर हियर लाइक दिस एंड जस्ट टाइप यस and here you have to add your public profile so how will find the public profile of the cloud skills boost app just go to kick labs let me show you how you have to navigate okay wait a second wait click on any lab so basically what is happening here they have updated the community so basically you have to sign in and then just come over my post option okay you have to click on my post you can see here abha1521 to just click on this url okay to just copy from here to here carefully copy from here to here and just paste now here we are signing into a cloud skills boost account to go to the settings come down here and if your public profile is not public you have to just check this box and update the settings now copy the url like this and just paste over here and type yes 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 and here basically what you need to do you have to fill this form okay you have to just open this url and what you have to fill add a project as arcade facilitator program let me show you how you have to do so this is little page is live now here just close it click on continue now project you have to paste this see here you have to paste this for the project and event date also you have to just paste over here all things are here done now what you need to do you need to just add your name email address and signature okay now just here you have to add your name so you can just type your name and today date is already printed email just type your email basically they will be emailing you okay now once you have done this okay you have done this now you have you have to click on sign so just you can just sign in write anything like this and just adopt and sign Once you have done this, you have to just click on finish. Here is the drop down. You have to just click on finish. Session has been timed out. No need to worry. Again, click on it. basically i am showing what can go wrong so you need to understand over here now here just click on continue again so basically you have to just type your what you have to type okay these details you have to type so basically just type it so basically what is this you, you want to type over here okay and as you see earlier we were unable to open it now here by default it will send you an email okay the same pdf will be sent via email and then you have to just do these things and here email address okay here email address you have to mention so i am just mentioning this email address okay make sure to mention correct email address only so here let me where is the form yes here is the email sign is done now just click on finish now here chances are there you may get one email regarding this okay and in case the form does not work because many times it's face some kind then what you need to do you need to just open this form and fill manually yes you heard it right you have to enter the project basically here they have mentioned the arcade facilitator program is the project event date 
similarly at the bottom you have to just enter the name signature and email address basically all things you can type it manually also or just use the pc for it and then you have to just download it and upload here now another important thing is that government id yes you need to have the valid government id college or school id won't work so make sure to upload it basically you can upload anything aadhar driving license or passport back and front so that's about this and then you have to just click on submit and you'll be notified once you are selected in the arcade facilitated program like you and your team has been selected so wait for it and if you have any queries you can comment down below and thank you guys have a great day ahead